everything that I was going through emotionally during that time. That was one of my roughest times. Just personally away from the music, you were just going through. During, during going into the I'm Him, that was one of the roughest times of my life. But I was trying to mask it and pretend. But people that know me, they knew. But I was dying on the inside. I was suffering. And that album kind of came out before its time. But it's beautiful that it came out because I could sit back now and appreciate it mm. and be reflective. Like, look what I overcame. And you can't say nothing. Well, be- you got to be perfect all the time. Yeah. You got to be perfect. That's crazy. Like, you got, you experience every human emotion that it is, even more so because you wear your heart on the sleeve. You're a lover, you're mm-hmm. a giver. But no matter what you do, the world beats you up. You get beat up when you go home. It's like nothing you ever do is good enough. So you never really feel welcome anywhere you go. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, this come from being a child. Like, mm-hmm. get out. It's like you never really feel welcome anywhere you go because it's like, if I'm not being what everybody want me to be, then are you going to still love me the same? And that's just what I was dealing with. Like, man, I worked so hard so other people can enjoy it. This is my first time enjoying myself, enjoying my life. Well, I ain't doing no apologize. You got to forgive me because I'm not sorry. Right. I'm not sorry. Well, I, I don't be sorry for telling the truth or doing what's true to me. That's real. Why? I ain't, I ain't bothering nobody. So how? What? Like, what's the big deal? I don't bother nobody. People just find reasons to be upset with me for no reason. Right. Like we've all been through things in life. You know, it's just that. It's just I was one of the first people that wasn't afraid to come out and say the things that we've been through in life. You know what I'm saying? It's not a negative thing. That's that that was an attack on our spirit. That's a spiritual affliction. Right. But we are not our past and we are not victims. Life is beautiful. Facts. Yeah, we not built for this. And then like even with you crying, like tears offer of healing. I cry down there every day. I think about certain shit, just cry because I'm releasing. You just make So that's a beautiful just- thing. Absolutely. You beautiful. Your soul Thank beautiful. You. Everything. The way you love somebody else is a reflection of how you love yourself. But a lot of men suffer in silence also. Right. When mm-hmm. you when you a provider and you and you and you a real, real provider, but you already unhappy and you not feeling like you being celebrated in a proper manner, you feel like you're only being tolerated, like a lot of people be like, why? Certain men don't go home. Like when I was in the streets, I used to hate going home because I, I feel like it's cool, but I ain't welcome there. Because it don't feel embracing when I go home. It's like, yeah. y'all act like this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Thanks. And a lot of men suffer from that and not knowing that it's okay to have your man cave. You have to go in your solitude and have your time for yourself in order for you to release. Because yeah. we, we so busy being tough and harboring all these resentment and emotions and all yeah. the shit we deal with. And it's, it's not that. It's called being self-sufficient. Yes. You have a relationship with yourself that yes. most people don't even know who they are. They don't. They live off what Instagram tell them to Fucked be. Fucked up off Instagram. That's like, and then me talking to myself now is a way that I process my emotions also. Mm-hmm. I like, and I'm careful about the words that I use. Like, like I'm careful about the affirmations that I put out into the universe now because everything I speak, it comes true. Like every time I was saying, I don't care about going to jail and I'm wear two pair of underwear, I wear two pair of drawers everywhere I go. I know there's always being prepared in that mindset. I was manifesting those things. I was utterly rejected. I suffered. And it was a beautiful situation because I wouldn't be the man that I am now had I not gone through those things without being tested. And going through a test, you can't have a testimony. Mm -hmm. So it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. It was a beautiful struggle. It made me this person. Yes, sir. It's but, all part of the plan. But I'm gonna be honest with you, like it was, it was very difficult for me to even do that song, even to release it. It was very difficult, but I, I gotta release this from my soul. I've been holding it in too long. I gotta release this. This is my therapy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is my best, therapy, best, and it really helped. It helped a lot of people because a lot of people walk around dying on the inside, suffering every day. Every day. Man, there's so many people hit me since I, since that super general. They like, 
Man, this song kept me from committing suicide. Thank you, Kevin. I love you. I see what God doing in your life. I don't care what the media say. I see what God doing. Every situation I go through, good or bad, is a learning experience for me. Mm -hmm. What can I learn from that? Respect myself more. Be more sacred with myself. You don't even need to see how I shave. You don't even need to see how I wash my face. You don't need to see none of that because you don't know how God trim his beard. And when I say God, that's just one entity of it because mm -hmm. I I know from what I've experienced that God is a man and a woman, the holy divine feminine energy and the sacred masculine energy. And once you understand that, practicing semen retention is 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 you have to do this without question. You become compelled to do this because you understand how sacred your life force is, your aura, your energy, yeah, yeah, your yeah. strength. Mm -hmm.